Hello and welcome. Today is an exciting day. I am finally talking about something somewhat relevant. Last week, LEGO released their newest theme. I'll talk a little bit about it, but I wanted to talk more about some recent trends LEGO is doing. So with that, this is video. If I had to describe this theme, and I do for this video, I would basically call it LEGO TikTok. You buy one of these beat boxes, and you can unlock the character in the app and use it to make short music videos, much like TikTok. The printed tiles included are called beat bits and can be used to unlock bonus content within the app. So let's talk about the good stuff first. The minifigures are really great. They're very colorful and unique, especially like that shark guy and the ghost witch lady. The printed tiles are really cool as well. They'd be great for a record shop or maybe as posters, but other than that I don't have too much good to say. Now for the bad. First off, for only one minifig, an incredibly disappointing build and a bunch of tiles, $20 is ridiculously overpriced. I think even $15 would be a questionable price tag for this. You would hope with such a steep price that the app would be pretty good. It's not. From what I've heard, it doesn't work well at all. There's also potential privacy issues, which with an app directly marketed towards kids is just not acceptable. Something about a social media app marketed to younger kids just rubs me the wrong way. I also see it getting old very quick. One final issue I have is with the bandmate sets. They include a random character and some beat bits for $5. That's a much more reasonable price, but they come in a box, so you have no idea which one you're actually getting. At least the collectible minifigures come in a bag so you can try and feel for the one you want. This is just basically physical loot boxes. Gambling is a problem for adults, and I think it's really scummy when companies try to take advantage of children like that. I think it should be if you want a minifigure, you should be able to buy that minifigure. So my first thought upon seeing this new theme is just, why? Followed quickly by a, a who is this for? I mentioned in my last video that I thought LEGO did a pretty good job at listening to their fans, but nobody asked for this theme. It feels like a really lazy attempt to try and profit off of TikTok's popularity. LEGO's been trying really hard the last few years to try and integrate apps or digital features with their products, and I wouldn't have an issue with it, but they don't focus enough on making the digital content good. What you end up with is a clunky app that doesn't work nearly as well as it needs to. And it just feels so out of touch. It really makes me feel like they think that kids these days are only interested in smartphones and apps. And that's just not the case. It gives off very similar vibes to when Hillary Clinton did this in the 2016 presidential election. But I'm trying to figure out how we get them to have Pokemon go to the polls. It really shows how out of touch this theme is when they have a guy dabbing on the box. Dabbing has been dead for years. And in internet time, that's basically like a century. I get what LEGO is trying to do here, but it's obviously not working. Fans have shown time and time again that they just don't want an app with their sets. And this newest example is by far the worst attempt. Except for maybe Fusion. That was pretty bad too. At least other themes like Nexo Knights, Hidden Side, Ultra Agents, etc. all had interesting builds. The focus wasn't entirely on the app. People are not going to pay $20 for an awful build in an even worse app. That's another issue with these app-centered themes. They just end up being more expensive. Now LEGO has had wild success with digital media in the past. One of the most famous examples of this is the LEGO Star Wars video game. The difference between that and the other stuff that they've tried is that the video game is great on its own, and the sets that do appear in the video game are also great on their own. They're both independently enjoyable. Another great example of LEGO nailing digital media was the LEGO movies. I love both of them. Here's my hot take for this video. The first movie was better, but the second movie had way better sets. I don't know if that's actually a hot take, but anyway. Again, the movies are good on their own, and the sets were actually some of my all-time favorites. People have been saying that this trend reminds them a lot of early 2000s LEGO, and I somewhat agree, but not entirely. For some background, in 2003-2004, LEGO nearly went bankrupt. The main reason for this was they kept trying a ton of new themes that ultimately flopped, which was really expensive. Essentially, they were just flailing around desperately trying to cash in on everything popular, and something had to change or LEGO would be a thing in the past. 
they ended up focusing almost exclusively on their most successful themes and making those as good as they possibly could. Ultimately, it saved them. Now LEGO keeps trying to get these themes to stick too, however the main difference here is they keep trying to get app integration to work. They're just trying to throw the same base idea at the wall and hoping it sticks. But the future of LEGO isn't buggy apps. I wish they'd quit trying this over and over. It's kind of getting old. Kids just aren't that interested in augmented reality. Parents aren't really going to like this either. Most don't really want their kids spending even more time on their phones, especially with the major privacy concerns. I just can't fathom how this got the green light. Who knows, maybe this theme will be a massive success, and this entire video will be a massive waste of my time. But until then, thank you so much for watching.